All right, so this is week three of me documenting and studying machine learning. Here is what I did this week. I took three days rest due to lack of motivation and I was feeling a little bit sick. So yeah, that's kind of sad. In the meanwhile, I also reviewed all the topics and notes. I rewrite all the notes and made some derivations better and clearer. I also restructured the GitHub repository to make it easy to navigate and yeah, just uh, researching the topics that you need. And yeah, the link in the, is in the description if you want to check it out. And when it comes to machine learning, I've started with extens extensions of the linear model and how the additive assumption affects the linear regression and also how to fix it using the interaction terms and the polynomial regression. And after that, I have dove deeper into the problems and the challenges posed when implementing the regression solution. The first one is linearity versus non-linearity and how to read the residual plots and uh, know if your problem is linear or not. After that, the outliers and how to detect them and to know which outlier influence the regression line more than others using the studentized, studentized residual and Cook's distance. With the outliers, there's also the high leverage point, which made me understand the hat matrix way more and also compute the leverage for the particular observation. Next, we go to the error terms and yeah, the correlation of error terms and how it affects the, the regression model and the non-constant variance in the error terms. I learned how to read the funnel shapes to calculate the weighted least squares and also the term of heteroscedasticity Skedas oh my god i can't spell it so anyway the heteroscedasticity scedasticity and what it means and the last one is collinearity using the correlation matrix or the variance infl inflation fa factor it depends on if you are if you have multiple predictors or a small number of predictors and uh, when i was talking about the hat matrix in the high leverage point it made me understand more details on the multiple regression using the orthogonal project projection the hat matrix the gram matrix the design matrix and reviewed a lot of derivations when it comes to multiple regression which yeah made me understand better the this concept and the multiple reg linear regression in general so yeah that's great and the last uh, chapter the last section in the chapter was the comparison of the linear regression with the k nearest neighbors i've, I've learned the the k nearest neighbors regression it's a regression version of the key nearest neighbors i've studied in the first chapter that uses the classifier and also the parametric versus the non-parametric approach for regression and the use cases for for both of them and yeah which one to use depending on the number of predictors the, depending on the problem that you have and uh, the inference that you want to get and lastly I've studied a little bit of the sh of chapter 4 uh, which called the classification I had an overall view of classification and what it means and just the basics of the logistic regression multiple logistic regression and multinomial logistic regression I'm gonna take my time to really study and digest these topics and next week I'm gonna be trying to apply more and solve exercises while also completing the chapter 4. So yeah, thank you for watching.